too many storms have passed your way and you're all washed out cause it rained on your parade seems nobody cares about you anyway now you're living your life like a castaway search for strength inside was it all in vain cause the deeper you dig you find more and more pain don't let your tomorrow be like yesterday cause i Everybody, spoke to God.
first the King James version and then I'll share with you the amplified version King James says it like this when a man's ways please the Lord he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him better is a little with righteousness than great revenues without right. A man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. Let me share with you the Amplified Version. The Amplified Version says, when a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Better is a little with righteousness than great revenues without right. A man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. I'd like to use as a subject on this day let God direct your steps. Mm, right. Real easy. Easy to say. Let God direct your steps. A little bit more difficult to practice. Let's go to God in prayer. Now, Heavenly Father, we are so grateful that you've been so kind to allow us to be in this moment of worship, praise, service, and ministry, God. We're so grateful, God, that despite all the things that we've done, God, that through your grace and mercy, we're forgiven, God, and we're given a second chance. Now, God, as we reflect on all the things that have gone on in our lives, God, all the things that are going on in this world, uh, we simply ask that the Holy Spirit fall down on us wherever we are. Connect with each person under the sound of our voice, Heavenly Father. Help them to set aside the things of today, of yesterday, or this past week, God. Uh, so that we can focus on you if only for a little while. Then God, as your humble servant, I pray for preaching power right now. God, I welcome the Holy Spirit in. Dwell within me, God, my words, my speech, my mannerisms, God. Uh, oh, yes. Use me, God, so that Thanks. I can preach to your people, teach your people, minister yes. to your people, yes. empower and uplift your people, God. Uh, we're looking to you, not me, right now. Let us hear a word from on high. Oh, yes. This we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let God direct your steps. 
It does not feel good to be lost, especially in this world, in this day and time, when everybody has a gun or an ulterior motive and looking to take advantage of us when we're vulnerable. But we all have those moments when we get lost going where we think we should be. Many of us have known the uh, neighborhoods that we're traveling. We've been there, the towns. We've been there to the cities and the communities that we are headed to, but could not find the location where we needed to be at when we needed to be there. We have been driving following the GPS or the Waze uh, application only to be led down and uh, uh, the wrong way when we uh, see, looking at the clock, that our time is running out uh, if we truly wanted to be on time. We get lost trying to make our appointments. We get lost uh, on the way to a friend's house party. We get lost uh, on our way to a job interview. We've gotten lost uh, when we hear our inner voice say, do the right thing, and yet uh, we do the wrong thing uh, or make the wrong decision. We get lost uh, when we uh, 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 begin to allow ourselves to become intoxicated uh, or high to the point of numbness, uh, and we become unaware. We have felt lost uh, when we let our guard down, welcoming in the people around us uh, who whisper that they love us deceitfully, uh, yet they take advantage of our welcoming attitude. Uh, uh, when they whisper, I love you, uh, they give us a hard time uh, and hurt our feelings. We have felt lost uh, when our community has been abused at the expense uh, of someone else's desire uh, to use that majority to bully uh, and kill our minority. Uh, the need to find our way comes about uh, when we find ourselves uh, focused on sinful pursuits. Uh, yes, uh, if you are living in sin, rebelling against God, uh, you certainly are lost. Uh, and regardless of what you're going through, how you got there, uh, when you look around and feel uneasy, uh, you know you don't belong there. You're supposed to be somewhere else, uh, doing something else, uh, living a different way. Surely uh, you're lost. Mm. And yet many people today are still trying to answer life's biggest question. Uh, how do I come out of this dark time uh, in my life? Many are trying to discover how to find fulfillment uh, and live an inspired life in the midst of uh, all of the chaos. Uh, many people are hyperventilating, cursing, uh, arguing, blaming, intoxicating themselves. Uh, Oh, they're doing so much uh, displacing their anger and frustration simply because they are lost uh, and their deepest desire is to find the best path uh, forward in life. Uh, yet today, on top of all that we are going through and dealing with personally, uh, we turn on our TV uh, and we see the news about the police uh, killing another brother needlessly. Uh, or we look down the block uh, and the street and we see how drug dealers uh, have beat down the lives of addicts uh, by continuing to sell their poison uh, until they either wake up uh, or die regardless of how uh, our community loves one another uh, and sees something better for one another. Uh, we get on the telephone uh, and get on uh, uh, and get no compassion or understanding uh, from the people who are supposed to love us. Uh, don't know if it's because uh, they're fed up in their own lives uh, or simply tired of hearing uh, folk complain when they make the wrong decision. Uh, we see so often uh, that people are boiling over. Uh, they're popping off. Uh, they're giving people a piece of their mind. Uh, they're giving up in the time to hang on. Uh, writing off friendships and relationships uh, and saying forget it. Uh, I have to get it. Uh, just how I'm living. Uh, we find ourselves uh, becoming more and more grimy. Uh, and when we are lost uh, in darkness uh, and it is uh, what we say a dog eat dog world. Uh, it means I gotta get mine. Uh, you gotta get yours. Uh, and surely you better watch out. Uh, Cause if you get in my way, uh, I'm gonna bring you into uh, the same darkness uh, that I'm experiencing. Uh, and it's just like the rapper said uh, so long ago, MC Breed, uh, you gotta get yours. Uh, I gotta get mine. Uh, so watch out. Uh, but I'm here to tell you today uh, that this world cannot get the best of you. Uh, I'm here to tell you today uh, that God is ready uh, and willing to shine uh, a light all into your darkness uh, yeah. so that you can see uh, the path that he's leading you 
for it. I'm here to tell you today uh, that there is no better time uh, than right now uh, to give God a chance uh, to do something special uh, in your life uh, that will change your circumstances. Uh, you need to know that God uh, has declared uh, that you shall be a victim, uh, not a victim. Uh, so get rid of that victim attitude, uh, whining and crying uh, about now. how stuff is uh, and get in tune with God uh, and allow the Lord uh, to order your steps. Yes, yes. Uh, I've come to realize uh, that we ought to be excited about what God is capable of doing. Uh, amen, amen. And what he's telling us uh, about our life today. Uh, for I believe that a blessing from God is surely about to pour down from heaven. Uh, and it's not just going to pour down on my house, uh, but it's going to pour down on your house. Uh, it's not just going to pour down on my community, uh, but it's going to pour down on your community. Uh, it's not just going to hit my city, uh, but it's going to hit your city uh, with all the hurting hearts uh, and the, the shedding of tears uh, and all the feelings of frustration. Uh, I believe that God is telling us right now uh, that we simply have to position ourselves uh, to be blessed. Uh, and if we're going to position ourselves to be blessed, uh, we've got to let go of some of the hurt, uh, the vengeful feelings, uh, the desire uh, to get back at somebody else. Uh, yeah. We can't stay in the darkness where it's dog eat dog, uh, but we got to come into the light uh, where we are uh, our brothers and sisters keepers. Uh, yeah. And then we got to put uh, our faith in God uh, and trust in God. Uh, and we'll find out uh, that what a familiar scripture said uh, is really true. Uh, have you heard trust in the Lord uh, with all thine heart uh, and yes, lean man. not unto thine own uh, understanding? Uh, have you not heard uh, in all thy ways acknowledge him uh, and he shall direct your path? Uh, now you've been following others, uh, following yourself, uh, doing the wrong thing for a long time. Uh, but this is the time uh, to let God uh, order your steps. Don't lean on your own understanding, but begin to acknowledge God in your life. And let's see what the Lord is ready to do. Isaiah, he told God's people in this book, that 30th chapter, 21st verse, he said, And your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, this is the way uh, and to walk in. And David told the kingdom people uh, in the 37th Psalm uh, that the steps of a man uh, are established by the Lord uh, when he delights uh, in his way. Uh, 1 John 2 uh, and 27 states, uh, but the anointing that you receive from him uh, abides in you uh, and you have no need uh, that anyone should teach you uh, but as his anointing teaches you uh, about everything Everything uh, and is true uh, and is no liar, uh, just as it has uh, taught you uh, abide in Him. Uh, and then Paul broke it down like this to the church at Rome. Uh, he said to them in the twelfth chapter uh, and second verse, uh, "Do not be conformed uh, to this world." Uh, he said to them, uh, "But be ye transformed uh, by the renewal uh, of your mind, uh, that by testing you may discern uh, what is the will of God." Uh, and what is good uh, and acceptable uh, and perfect. Uh, and so you got to digest that, uh, put it all together, uh, and you know uh, you got to, uh, uh, you were made uh, for this battle. Uh, you know uh, that you were made uh, for this journey. Uh, no need to be frustrated because uh, you were made uh, for this lifetime. Uh, no need to be worried because uh, your God made you specifically uh, to live in this moment uh, and over overcome. Uh, God is speaking to you right now. Uh, just listen. Uh, like Isaiah said, uh, God is declaring to his kingdom people, uh, if you align with his will uh, and delight in him, uh, he will establish your steps. Uh, just like David uh, declared to the kingdom, uh, God wants you to know uh, that the anointing uh, is all over you, uh, yeah. on the inside of you, uh, all around you, uh, and you need just to lean uh, not on your own understanding, uh, but like John professed, uh, lean on the Lord. Uh, so take 
to heart the words of Paul and stop conforming to this world. Don't allow this world to draw you in and take you out and take advantage of you. This is not the time to grow weary and well doing, but this this time right here, when there's so much chaos going on, this time right here, when there's so much sickness and ailment going on, this time right here, where you can identify the hate in your heart and the hate in your neighbor's heart, this time right here, when it seems like resources are short and you can't get what you need, in this time right here, let the Lord direct your steps. Yeah. I wish it was easy just to figure things out. But truth is, God has to work with our minds. I wish it was easy just to let the pain go away. But the truth is, God has to heal our hearts. And I wish it was easy to make it feel all energetic after a night's sleep instead of waking back up into the same madness and chaos that was going on, uh, but truth is, uh, God has to work on uh, some of our circumstances, uh, but if you gonna navigate uh, all the traps, uh, trickeries, uh, foolishness, uh, deceitful stuff going on out there, uh, you gotta step back, uh, close your physical eyes, uh, and begin walking by faith. On, you gotta take a step back uh, right. and say, God, what are you trying to show yes. me? Uh, where are you trying to take me? Uh, you gotta take a step back and say, God, I trust you. Yes. So my next step is a step of faith. Yes. My next step is a step that's leaning on you because I know I can't make it by myself. Right. My next step is based on you, Lord, for you are directing my steps. Mm. Hallelujah. Uh, we begin uh, to consider uh, this book. Uh, and we know that Solomon, the son of David, uh, uh, once uh, considered as the greatest king of Israel uh, is accounted for the authorship uh, of the book of Proverbs and the book of Proverbs uh, is one of the wisdom books uh, to be aligned uh, with other books uh, such as Job, Psalms, Ecclesiastes uh, and the Song of Songs also known uh, as the Song of Solomon uh, and the primary purpose of this book uh, is to teach wisdom uh, not only to the young and inexperienced uh, but to those folk who think they already know what's going on in <laughs> this on world. Uh, and here we are looking at the Proverbs uh, that personifies wisdom uh, as an idealistic woman, uh, letting us know that we need to begin to understand uh, that God reveals things to us uh, in specific ways. Uh, and the book of Proverbs, uh, it provides profound insights and Ex exceptional wisdom um, on how to live a happier uh, and peaceful life uh, by honoring uh, and respecting God uh, as all good uh, and all powerful. Uh, and the guiding principles of this book uh, are to trust in the Lord uh, with all your heart. Uh, you can find that in the third uh, chapter, fifth verse. Uh, and to fear uh, that the fear of the Lord uh, is the beginning of knowledge. Uh, you can find that in the first chapter, seven verse uh, and repeat it in the ninth chapter uh, and as you begin to understand uh, the purpose of the book uh, it becomes clear uh, that the life lessons of the author as well as the revelations uh, of God's power reveal that we can do better uh, than the circumstances dictate that we should do. Uh, this means regardless uh, of what we lack, uh, regardless uh, of how we have been set back, uh, I say regardless uh, of how strong uh, the enemy seems to be, regardless uh, uh, of how it seems uh, like we may not make it and may fail, uh, this book demonstrates uh, that if we submit to God uh, and honor him with righteous living, uh, that God will bless us. Uh, that means he'll bless you uh, and bless me uh, with the salvation uh, and deliverance uh, that we so prominently uh, require. Yeah. And that's why today uh, I plead with you uh, to take a step back. Uh, listen for what the word of God is saying to you. Uh, it's not telling you to fight uh, for 
Well, you know what the scripture says? Uh, our fight is not a fleshly fight, uh, but we're de dealing with governing powers, uh, a spiritual fight, uh, principalities, uh, folk who think they're in control. Uh, we're dealing with that type of fight. On, uh, so if you try to take the fight uh, to the enemy, uh, you'll find yourself hitting a brick wall, uh, yep. and that's why you should let God take over uh, and be in control uh, yes. and let God uh, direct uh, your step. So we began uh, to look at this selected text. Uh, and this text helps us, uh, who are believers, to understand uh, that if there is uh, a difference between uh, human plans uh, and divine providence. Uh, and you see, we think that we know so much. Uh, we think that we know how to do things better. Uh, than what we've seen. Uh, we know what our parents did, uh, so we parent a little bit differently. Uh, we know what grandma and grandma and dad did, uh, so we do things a little bit differently. Uh, we know what the book says, uh, so we take what the book says uh, and put our own spin on it. Uh, we got this way uh, of trying to figure things out. Uh, we'll reinvent the wheel quick uh, just to put our stamp on it. Uh, we'll go in a different direction. Uh, Regards of how clear the past straightforward uh, may be just so we can say uh, that we're trendsetters and trailblazers. Uh, we'll find ourselves uh, doing whatever the flesh says uh, and justifying uh, our fleshly behavior uh, even when it's full of sinful desires. Uh, we'll justify uh, our fleshly behavior uh, even when it hurts our loved ones uh, and our friends. Uh, we'll justify uh, our fleshly behavior uh, even even when it destroys uh, our lives, uh, just to put our stamp on it uh, and say, I've been there uh, and I've done that. Uh, but when we start to look at this chapter uh, and this text, uh, we recognize uh, that there is a divine providence uh, and we need to understand uh, that the divine nature of God, uh, he knows all, sees all, uh, and understands uh, as the creator of your life uh, and of mine uh, where we need to go, what we need to do, and how we need to live. Uh, and since he understands uh, and that divine providence uh, is present, uh, we need to check ourselves uh, before we wreck ourselves uh, right. and let the Lord uh, order uh, our steps. Amen, amen, amen. We need to understand that no matter how hard we fight uh, mm. and how cutthroat uh, we may try to be uh, that God's divine providence uh, it still governs human affairs. Uh, and the only setbacks uh, that we tend to experience uh, are personal setbacks uh, for ourselves, uh, our families, uh, and the people we love. Uh, but we're not stopping God's will uh, from being done. Uh, and the issue in uh, these verses uh, is the idea of wisdom uh, in the decision-making process. Uh, for you see, uh, whether one makes a detailed plan uh, or resorts to casting lots uh, and using luck, uh, events and circumstances uh, are still in uh, the most high's hands. Uh, it's still in the divine God control. Uh, and as such, uh, the wise are cautious. Uh, but above all, uh, they should be putting their faith uh, in God uh, and not in human plans. Uh, and that's why uh, we ought to get excited uh, when God begins to speak to us uh, and give us visions. Uh, we ought to get excited uh, when God whispers in our ear uh, that you're about to come out of uh, and overcome this mess. Uh, we ought to get excited uh, when we sound the alarm uh, and call on the power of God to be present uh, in our lives. Because uh, we know uh, from past experience uh, that when God shows up, uh, he shows up. Uh, and we ought to get excited uh, that he has a divine plan uh, because we so often are afraid uh, of failing uh, and falling on our face. Uh, yes, but yes, since yes. God uh, on, has man. a divine plan, uh, ain't no fear uh, ought to be in your heart, uh, your spirit, uh, or your mind uh, if you submit to God uh, and let God uh, direct uh, your steps. Uh. All right now. So the seventh verse, uh, it begins to look in the psyche uh, of man and one man. Uh, and it says, when a man's ways uh, please the Lord, uh, he make it even the enemies uh, 
to be at peace with him. And you've got to understand that our psyche is not always about pleasing God. You know the truth just as well as I am. If a good looking man or woman walk by, no matter what your relationship status says on Twitter, Facebook, and IG, that some of us have an eye that'll look out the corner and other of us gotta look and turn our head. We understand that God ain't pleased with our lustful state. And you know how some of us are. We get that green eyed bandit that calls on us control of our minds, uh, takes control uh, of our spirit. Uh, we'll chase the dollar uh, to the ends of the earth. Uh, truth is, uh, the word says uh, that we're supposed to mission uh, and evangelize uh, to the ends of the earth. Uh, but you and I know the truth uh, that if it ain't no greenbacks, uh, no gold coins, uh, no silver bullion, uh, no platinum chains uh, at the other end uh, of the earth, uh, we ain't going. Uh, but if there's a chance So you must 
must understand uh, that God is uh, in control. Hallelujah. Mm, hallelujah. But there's always uh, have to be uh, God taking out your enemy. Uh, for you see, this scripture teaches uh, that the power of God, uh, when it's present, uh, it will make your enemy uh, be at peace uh, with you. Uh, now that's an important part here uh, because it lets you know uh, that the enemy, uh, they don't go away. Uh, the hate, uh, it does not go away. Uh, the rejection, uh, it doesn't go away. Uh, all of the chaos uh, and mess, uh, it doesn't go away. Uh, but there is peace uh, in the midst of uh, your circumstances. Hey. Uh, and the scripture says another way uh, that he'll prepare a table uh, for you uh, before your enemies uh, if you only allow God uh, to order your steps. Hallelujah. Uh, I need some direction right now, God. Uh, yes. I've been yes. trying to go left and right. Uh, I've been trying to figure out uh, which way I need to go. Uh, should I go over, under, or around, God? Uh, I need uh, some divine direction. Uh, and here it is. Uh, in this text, uh, we begin to understand uh, that better is uh, a little with righteousness uh, than great revenues uh, with, uh, without right. Uh, and you've got to understand uh, that our God's power, uh, this is divine power. You need to understand this. Uh, he can take a little bit uh, and make it much. Uh, yes. You need to understand yes. this. Uh, that's the type of God uh, that we serve, uh, that he takes a few uh, and makes it many. Uh, you need to understand this concept because uh, he's flexing uh, his divine power uh, to let you know uh, that regardless uh, of how bad the covers look, uh, regardless uh, of how intimidating uh, the enemy may seem, uh, that when God is in control, uh, he'll take what you got uh, and bring you uh, to a victory. Hallelujah. Uh, God tells Hallelujah. Uh, the little, it makes it a lot. To, it could be like uh, a simple staff uh, that Moses took uh, to make sure that he could stand up straight uh, when going up the mountain uh, and coming down the mountain. Uh, it could be the simple fact uh, that God would take something like a wooden stick uh, and make it a snake uh, to declare his power. Yes. It could be something like uh, our God saying, use that stick uh, and hit the rock uh, so that your people uh, can tap in uh, to the holy water uh, yes. that you could not see. Uh, it could be something like uh, the book of Judges uh, declaring that uh, all you need uh, is the jawbone uh, of a donkey uh, and all you need uh, to do uh, is hold it tight uh, and swing it in uh, the name of the Lord. Uh, yes. It could be our yes. God saying uh, to get you to your kingdom place. Uh, just use the resources you got. Uh, don't need no fancy sword, uh, shield, uh, or any type of armor. Uh, but take a few rocks uh, and your slingshot uh, and let me take over uh, and guide you to victory. Uh, yes. It does not matter uh, how little you have uh, when you are proclaiming uh, thy will be done. Uh, when you are proclaiming uh, let God uh, direct my steps. Yes. You'll find uh, that his divine power uh, will be present uh, in your life. Thank you. Thank uh, you. And the scripture says uh, that a man's heart, uh, it divides uh, his way. Uh, but the Lord uh, directeth uh, his steps. Uh, and I get a little bit excited uh, because it lets me know uh, when I get ahead uh, of myself, uh, I can start to sing that song. Uh, order uh, my steps uh, in that word, uh, dear Lord. Uh, and when I begin to order my steps uh, according to the Lord's will, uh, it seems like a prayer uh, comes out of me. Uh, God order my praise uh, in the midst of uh, yeah. these difficult times. Uh, I get to singing that song. Uh, order my steps uh, in your word, uh, dear Lord. Uh, and I can see a prayer uh, coming out to the Lord. Uh, saying, God, if you would, uh, order my steps uh, that I might be of service uh, to my neighbor uh, to show them uh, that I'm living the way the good book says uh, that I'm going to love my neighbor uh, as myself. Uh, I get excited uh, when I start 
singing that song or oh, my stops in that word the Lord because then I know God is telling me that I need to love myself and submit to him I get excited when I sing that song or oh, my stops in that word the Lord because I understand that regardless of the enemy trying to take us out one by one that I got a hedge of protection all around me I get excited singing this song knowing that God is going to move when I tell him I need the old ranger Jehovah. I know that my God is going to move when I tell him I can't make it without you Lord I know that the Lord he's going to move when I say that you are my shepherd I can't want for nothing I know the Lord is going to move when I position myself in humility before him. God is trying to catch your attention right now. Yes. What more does he have to do? Every vulnerable point, every button that sets you off, they're getting pushed at the same time. <laughs> Computers, when they get too much going on, they just shut down and give you a blue screen of death. But I proclaim in your life right now that there is no blue screen, black screen of death. And in the midst of chaos and being lost, that your Savior and Redeemer is still present. Yes. All you have to do is accept him. Romans says in that 10th chapter 9th verse confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Christ was risen from the dead in order to save you that it doesn't matter your heritage whether you are a Jew or a Greek whether you are a Gentile uh, white, black, green uh, yellow, orange, whatever color you may be, it doesn't matter that God accepts you for who you are where you are, yes. all you gotta do is confess and believe So I pray right now that you will give yourself to God. Yes, yes. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we know we can't make it without you. Yes, Lord, we can't. And God, we're not going to pray no more asking you to take our enemies away. But God, we are going to ask you according to your word to grant peace with our enemies. Yes. And yes. God, we need that peace whether our enemy is ourselves for making the wrong decision, a bad decision, for retaliating uh, uh, evil for evil. God, uh, whether it's taking too many drugs, drinking too much alcohol, having too much uh, unmarital sex, God, whatever it is, when we were our own worst enemy, God, we ask for peace right now. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. God, we ask for your forgiveness of our sins. Our sins against ourselves and our sins against you and God, our, our sins against the people around us. And then, God, we confess that you are our Lord and Savior. We believe in you that you sent Jesus to get his life so that we could have generational salvation. So, right now, God, we simply ask that you make yourself relevant in our lives. Please do. We ask that you reveal yourself all around us, in our homes, at our jobs, God, at the grocery store, driving down the car, God, just make yourself known to us in a way that we understand it and can't deny it. This we pray in the name of Jesus. I believe if you pray that prayer, if you commit yourself to God, that you're trying to live a righteous life and depend on the power of God that you've been saved, redeemed, forgiven of your sins and now God is about to do something special in your life Yes, indeed. let God order your steps let him direct you when it's time to go left, go left when it's time to go right, go right when it's time to push forward regardless of the enemy you push forward knowing that God is on your side and have the expectation 
that you're going to feel the hate and dislike, but they still got to be at peace with you. They may not like what God is doing in your life, but they got to accept it. May God bless you and keep you. Ever done.